Hello and welcome to uh, Back on the Bank with me. Uh, where do we start? We were in a bivvy. It's pissing down, <laughs> very simply. Um, we're down on, uh, obviously we're on the Fenrod. Um, a little information, it's a 13 acre lake. <coughs> um, there's a good head of fish in here. It's not a runs water. It is quite difficult. Well, I find it difficult and I know some other people find it difficult. Uh, and winter obviously certainly battered me just the one bream, but we're now in spring. Yes. So let's hope that this is now the time that we can start pulling some fish out. Uh, so the plan anyway today, the plan today, uh, I've, got a, I've got a bit back to basics. Like I said, winter, winter battered me confidence wise and uh, everything as well. This first first one I've done, um, I only had a target of one fish, but not a bream. <laughs> Didn't want that one. So yes, yeah, so back, back to basics. Uh, we've literally gone, back to what I used to fish it with um, bottom baits, uh, which is a new bait to be fair, I've found a deal online, um, 10 kilos of stuff. So I'm gonna plow it in. It is literally, I, the pl plan with baiting wise today, uh, although it's had to be put on hold a bit because of the rain. Uh, I've managed to get a few freebies out there just uh, with a throwing stick. And literally I'm gonna aim for like a tennis court size with that and then once my rigs were in position, I wanted to then spawn over the top more boilers plus particles. So hopefully keep them all mulling around it in that area. If I can get them in there, I can keep them because there'd be so much, so much I want to put in there. Just, uh, I, I need to, I need to up these percentage chances. I, I've got to try something. It's been, I think it's been since, wait, me back into September now. I've had a, last time I had a fish. So yeah, so but obviously with the rain, I say we've just got to hold off a minute. So yeah, it's so back to basics. That's how we go in for now. Uh, bottom baits, uh, one with an 80 miller, not big, and a bit of top cord, uh, and then one with a uh, small 50 miller. Uh, and then I have got one then, my middle rod, actually it's on my left hand side, on a on the old money, obviously. Uh, had a bit of play around with some fluorocarbon, some stiff flu fluorocarbon, ESP in it. Felt quite nice to be fair, so I'll chuck that out there. That's with uh, just a small 14 miller. And obviously I've checked all these in the side. So I know they're sitting flat and how they should be. So we've checked that. Um, water level's quite high up here today. To be fair, I've had to come right back because uh, it flooded out last night. It's, it's gone down a little bit since I've been here, but it has started raining again. So hopefully I'm, I'm back far enough. And, be fair though, what, two o'clock, this is all supposed to clear then and no more rain. So that's when I can get out there and really start working my swim. That's the plan. So we've come down on the, um, on the social peg. They said there's, there's tons of people over on the wet, so there's only one free. So, and the wind is blowing over this way. And with them all fishing over the other side, I'm hoping they're gonna push the fish this way even more. What with the wind and their, the lines, the pressure of the lines in the water. So I'm hoping there don't seem to be many people down this end of the lake. They all seem to be that end and over the other side. So hopefully it'll push it down. So that's why I chose this one. So I managed to get set up just in the nick of time, kept everything dry, but I, um, I had to quickly just sling them out there, like I said, while it was raining. I'll, I'll redo them again soon now. Uh, so that's the plan. Obviously we'll catch back up with you later. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna enjoy. Like I said, it's a lot warmer. Now, just got the, shower, the heavy rain and the showers and whatnot to contend with now, haven't we? For a couple of months, maybe. And then uh, then the real, the fun, comfortable, sunny fishing start, shall we say. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it there for now. Like I said, and I'll get back to you later. Cheers. Oh, back again. Little, uh, do a little bit. The rain has stopped, finally. Um... Uh, look at that. We've got some little friends, look. Little duckies. Oh, this is supposed to be quite a bit of a lucky, good luck charm. So hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, right, there's the lake. It's a bit high still. Look at that. It's flooded. So there's the, uh, it drops down all the way over there. So to be fair, I'm sort of like in two minds whether or not to, uh, redo my rods now because I might when it goes down and even get an extra further 10 yards on if need be 
uh, not ten, so ten foot maybe. So it's about it really. I don't know. We think we, we're going to start spawning out anyway. We're going to find some spots now, <laughs> and then uh, maybe if I can push them out a bit further later on, I might do. Just try a little bit in first. Like I said, if I create a, a tennis side, tennis court size, so if I fish this side, the front side of it, and then with that, if, if I have to move my rods forward because the water drops, then I have to, I could fish the middle or the back of that tennis size we caught. So I think that's the plan now. We know it's rains out. Let's get a bit fishing and start working this spot. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. See you in a bit. So yeah, stuff that cool mixed up. Dude. Ducks are nabbing it out of me uh, spoon before I even get in there. Now we're uh, going boily wise. Just remove that. Check you still see. There we are. Show you this. Show me. Look at that. They are glistening. So, hey, let me try. Right, so that's all, all baited up there. Uh, about 12, 12 spawns of uh, particles all in total. Uh, probably about nine spawns of uh, boilers that I showed you in the, in the bucket. And then I've, I've probably flinged about 15 to 20 baits with the, with the stick as well. So we might, we're going to sit and watch the water now. It's coming out nice now, to be fair. And uh, the water temp is actually 10.7. And then now Elvis is playing with my lines. So they've been fed. Cheeky. Yeah, so you see that. <laughs> trying to nab it off the spoon. Uh, so they've been fed. The fish have been fed. Now they need to feed my hunger for landing one and catching one. So let's hope they all play ball, eh? Oh, yeah. We're going to watch the water now and um, see how it goes. Might do the same again now in two, three hours or maybe more. We'll have a look. We'll see if we can uh, see if any fish start showing. If, if, technically, if they're going down there to eat all that, I would have thought they got a show to clear out their gills. 
So, we'll see. Right, catch you later. Evening guys, little update for you, might as well, isn't it? Because there ain't a lot else going on again. Um, it's not a sniff on the rods to be fair. The wind has changed slightly and it's blowing down in the shallows, which um, I have heard someone's had four down there. So hopefully they're on the feed and they're pushed back up into this deeper area later on in the night. So with that in mind, I have rebated. Uh, I've put fresh bait on as well, obviously, and I have rebated for for the night, and I've put a good lump in there. Like I said before, I was going to. It's a new bait that probably hasn't been in this water before anyway. So, for the first time, if it don't get me a bite, at least the fish could have some good freebies and uh, get the taste in for it. That's uh, my opinion, anyway. So yeah, so the rods are back out. They're um, they're fishing. So it's actually uh, I just had a little look down there at the water temp. It's actually gone down near enough a whole degree. So it has got a bit chillier. <laughs> Definitely, the wind has picked. The wind has got a lot colder as well. So I've had, uh, had to swap the act and get the old bobble on. Um, so hopefully something happens though tonight because it's getting a bit long. This, but it's okay because we're still fishing. Oh look, it's still rather nice in it. Let's be honest. Better view than the TV in the house. Winner, winner. So anyway, this will be my last one now until the morning, unless, I say unless, I get a fish. Now, <laughs> probably speak to you in the morning. <laughs> but there we go, you never know. So anyway, till then. Morning, guys. Um, you never know, guess what I've gone and done. I've only gone and caught naff all again. This has come in a right habit. Um, where do I start, to be fair? To be fair, it was bloody cold last night. I was freezing. I woke up, I, I, I thought I had a run, around about the two o'clock. I jumped out the bivy, it was actually a swan, playing around with my lines. So, um, obviously, but then it was proper cold, and a proper cold, and the water temperature has got dropped quite dramatically. 7.1 now. Considering that was, what was that, 8.9 when we got here? So, it's definitely dropped. Um, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I ain't got a clue. Uh, I've been up uh, for the last 40 minutes now watching the water because it was flat calm. It was flat calm last night. Stayed up for a bit, trying to warm up, just listening out and just nothing. Nothing crashing, nothing again. And this morning, I've got up, I've watched the water no signs whatsoever i can't if they're here they're not they're not certainly not telling me they're here so with that in mind i haven't reached out the rods because to be fair it's, what, it's about quarter past seven now um we're gonna we're gonna start packing up because it's mother's day we need to get back early so things to do today so it's literally gonna be a, a pack up job now um they they can stay out obviously while I'm doing that, but percentages and all that. So it looks like that that means it's going to be another two weeks now that I get to stew over another session before I get to do my next one. So, but hey, if you like this, if you have watched this and you have liked it, um, just give us a subscribe and that. Only so, uh, do you know what I mean? Just say hello. Because <laughs> I ain't doing anything else. So, anyway. Hope you have better luck in your fishing. Tight lines.